Hey, what's up, children of the sun? This is your metaphysical advisor, Montre Bible, doing the weekly tarot. We're going to go over the energies, try to see what's going on, what can we expect. You know, new week, new energies. We just came off with a full moon in Pisces, starting the whole new bag of worms. But that's I think it's pretty good to start the week off with the moon in Aries because it's kind of like astrologically in tune with that, right? Let's see here. Trying to see if there's any major things this weekend. Well, not until Friday, really. Mercury's doing some stuff. Mercury's retrograde, so this is a week of slowing down. If you can, try to slow down as much as you can. Mercury's joining so many planets um, in retrograde season. Uh, not a great week to start new projects, just not. Uh, so, but go back on some old things, go old projects, some old things that you used to do to see, you know, hey, I haven't, you know, finished this thing. You know, there's a lot of times we start stuff and we don't finish it. Uh, this is going to be that period of time where you start looking back and researching. What is it that I need to work on? Ask the universe. What is it that I need to work on? Okay. I'm going to pull an Oracle card for the week. Let's see. I'm going to pull uh, some tarot and then do everybody's zodiac sign so that, you know, you guys can kind of have something. I would use this week to release old negative energy since we're on the waning moon now. Uh, and we're going to be going through Taurus, Gemini, and then we wrap up the week. Well, oh, I think we can cancer. Okay. All right, card of the day. Card of the day. Or oh, not the day, the week, excuse me. Card of the week. Yeah, hold space. Got the good old Druid. Druid is saying definitely slow down. This is, uh, the Druid is an old guy, basically. He reminds me of the Hermit card. Hold the space. This is not about doing something new, some new projects. This is about you being wise, slowing down just like an old person would. And it's like, okay, well, let me contemplate some things. Okay, let me do the, uh, where's my book on Druid? Let's read that. It's got a little time. When the Druid card appears in this reading, you're going to be guided to dig deep within and hold your station. If you're wondering what to do next or have a sense of anxiety about what is unfolding in your life, it's time to shift your perceptions and move back to a state of trust. Don't change your plans or do anything drastic. Just said that. Just trust in the process and let everything happen as it needs to before taking any more steps. Think of a tree. And that's what you do. he's standing by a tree. Um, be planted. <laughs> it has strong roots, yet continues to grow and bear fruit. Your life will be a reflection of this. So sometimes it's not about doing. It's about just planting yourself. So I'm going to put that card here. Let's pull some tarot for the week. We're planting ourselves. And we're sitting still. And sometimes that's hard to do, especially with... Um, Mars and Gemini. It's going to be like that busy energy. Your mind's going to be kind of going everywhere. But that's okay. It's just kind of like, all right. Sometimes uh, the way that card said is that anxiety. You know, that doing too much can cause anxiety sometimes. So sometimes we have to watch out for that energy. All right. The Ace of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. Yep. What we're doing here, and you got the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. If you're a workaholic, I would say be careful about that energy. For some of you, you may need to take time off. I'm actually taking some time off this week uh, for my day job. Uh, but if you find yourself being a workaholic, be careful of that energy. The Ace of Swords talks about communication. This needs to be the focus. It talks about ideas, leadership, okay? And the two of wands going back, plan B. You know, I see anytime I say two of wands, I always say plan B. Let's go back. There's a decision that we made back in the day that we may have to change. There's something that um, um, when you're at a crossroad, 
of not not going on that that decision that you made before or having to go backwards on something on some decision that you made. So there may be some new information coming. Some new information coming with the Ace of Swords, uh, where the universe is actually offering you some info. And you're saying, wait a minute, I need to go back and backtrack on some things. I kind of feel like, uh, yeah, this might be on, on, on for everyone. So I'm trying to get the right words to say because that, you know, this is me trying to slow down a little bit. Ah, uh, there's Mister. Okay. Now the Pinnacle says. This is about being independent, doing your own thing, financial independence. Um, as we say, the strong woman, <laughs> strong female energy of enjoying what you have um, versus like, oh, let me go shopping or anything. She's not shopping. She's just enjoying what she has. She has, you know, money. She has got nature. She's got beauty. And this is just kind of like sitting back and sitting still and saying, you know what? Let me enjoy life right now. And it's just being wise. Ace of Swords is wisdom. Let's see what else we're going to see here. I'm going to pull some clarification on the Ace of Swords. I don't do this too often with clarifying the week, but just want a little bit more. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords in the Fool card. So, Ace of Swords. I feel like there are going to be some new ideas coming in for you. And you're going to be like, oh, I should take a chance. You know, uh, Ace of Swords, something new, an idea, and a full card saying, let me take a chance on this. Let me let me start something new. But it's in a past position. I'm saying whatever new comes up, it may be an old idea that may come in. But before you do something, I'm saying you may have to My laundry's done. Go back on something. It's getting loud all of a sudden. It was so quiet just a minute ago. Three of staffs is at the bottom of that telling us that uh, there seems to be like this tired of waiting for things to happen and getting these new ideas and saying, oh, let me take a chance on this. But that two of wands says, wait a minute, we're going to have to go back and make a decision. It may have been something that you started already and you have to go backwards. But this week, this week, like I said, it's just a slow week of getting your ideas together before you make a move and, and also enjoying what you already have. So let's see here. Where is it? What does everybody need to slow down on with that hermit's energy? What does everyone need to? Let's start with Aries. Where does Aries need to slow down on? The devil card reverse. You may have had some toxic relationships, someone that you did not get along with, some bad connection. This also could be a relationship that's based purely on sex. This basically you've already removed yourself from the situation. The devil card is reversed, so you've already removed yourself from a situation. This is saying that you're just gonna slow down, period, because it's almost like before you start a new relationship, that one was so damaging. That you probably just need to chill out. <laughs> so the double card reverse, coming out of a bad situation, coming out of a, uh, and it doesn't have to necessarily be, have to be a person area. This can be like um, just a, a, an, an event that happened that was challenging for you, that caused you like a lot of issues. You learned from it, but now it's time to chill out for a second. So Taurus, what is Taurus slowing down on? The King of Wands. Taurus, I feel like you got a lot of energy. This could be very strong sexual energy. Taurus with the King of Wands there. You, ha you know what you want and you know how to get it, but slow down. Pump the brakes before you go full head, full speed ahead. So King of Wands, like I said, strong sexual energy of going after what you want, strong passion energy of going after what you want. Before you do it, slow down because there could be a different idea coming in. And that's what I'm thinking is that because when you have an idea and you want to do something so badly, you're like, yeah, let me get started. On it. But before you get started on that idea, hold on. Something's about to change. Move on to Gemini. 
Gemini, you need to slow down. It could be some type of legal issue or karmic balance that's coming into play with the justice card there. Justice is reversed. So before you make a decision on something, realize that there could be um, something that's not quite clear yet. So whether you're dealing with a legal issue or something that deals with karma, slow down before you do something because justice has not been served yet. So the justice card is reversed this week. If something is not fair or you don't see it's fair before you do something, just wait it out and see if it's gonna fix itself. Let's move on to cancer. Cancer, you have the king of pentacles reverse as well. This is telling you, you need to just slow down at work. Maybe you are working too much and you're doing stuff that just kind of, ooh, take a break, Cancer. This may be a great time to take a vacation or to delegate work to someone else. Don't try to do it all by yourself. Just move on to Leo. Leo, you have the Ten of Cups reverse. This is the time to slow down and start reconnecting with your family members. There could be someone that you haven't spoken to in a while, your mother, kids, uh, wife, whoever. Ten of Cups is reversed, says that there could be some problems on the home front that you need to deal with or someone that you're very closely related to that you may consider family. And you need to slow down to see and deal with this issue. Let's move on to Virgo. Virgo, you have the Strength card. The sun is still in your energy. You're feeling very strong. You're feeling very um, energized. Um, but even then, with so much energy, you're probably doing better than most people. <laughs> Slow down. Even though you feel like Superman or Superwoman right now, people still need you. Sorry. People may need your strength. So while you're doing things, uh, use your strength to help others. Move on to Libra. What does Libra need to slow down? Libra, 10 of wands. This is a very stressful energy. You put a lot of burdens on yourself, Libra. And this is also kind of like cancer, trying to take care of everything. Just know this, Libra, that you're ending a cycle. You're coming to the end of a cycle, the 10 of wands. Slow down, once again, kind of like the message that I have with cancer, you don't have to carry this entire burden by yourself. There are some things that you're gonna need to let go of. So as you're moving into this next phase of your life, this next uh, journey, just know that don't try to do everything yourself. Delicate some things too, um, same kind of similar energy. But yeah, I feel like you got too much going on. Uh, if you feel stressed out or you feel burdened, like I said, let go of some things. Just let go of things that are just stressing you out. Move to Scorpio. Scorpio's energy. The ten, oh, eight of cups, reverse. All right, you're definitely going back towards something that you used to love or something that you brought you passion. I think you're already in the midst of this journey. Um, the eight of cups is saying go back and look at some things that you that you put away that you were like, hmm, I really this really brought me joy. So before you move on to your next thing, say, hmm, let me slow down and turn the other direction and say, what are some things? Maybe it was a gift or a talent or something that you really enjoy doing. This week is going to be the start of this U-turn that you're going to make of discovering the things that you used to love and what brought you passion in the past. OK, so it's going to it's a slow process, but you are on this journey already. Sagittarius, what are you Sagittarius slowing down on? Sagittarius, the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups, similar energy you've been daydreaming and fantasizing about a lot of stuff. Now it's to slow down and focus. You're very good at focusing. You have a lot of dreams. This week, you want to focus directly on what is it that you want. This could be a person. Maybe you have multiple people that you're dating. And you're having to slow down and say, all right, I want to focus on this person. Maybe there's a project. Maybe you have multiple projects you want to do. Just focus on one. You're good at focusing, but you're going to have to make a decision this week on what is it that you want to focus on. All right. Not necessarily making the decisions to start with that project or that person. It's just making that decision and saying, OK, let me start putting 
the steps in place to make this a reality. Capricorn. Capricorn. This is about slowing down about things with the Six of Cups, about things that upset you in the past. All right. Six of Cups are things in the past that are really that you haven't gotten over. And you're like still kind of thinking about it and it's still bothering you. Slow down in a sense for your own personal emotional health. This is not a mental card. This is emotional health. Why are you still upset about the past? What is it still bothering you about this person or event that happened? This week, you want to rethink your actions on how you did things, on what you want to do, and maybe uh, what's going to make you feel strong and independent again. Let's move on to Aquarius. 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 <laughs> The Knight of Swords. All right, Aquarius, you need to slow down with trying to save everybody. You have the Knight of Swords. This is a very mental energy. This is energy that you're very familiar with. But it's about moving fast and trying to save the day. Well, that's kind of the opposite of the entire message, right? So it's saying, yeah, you can save the day. But maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you should just say, chill out. <laughs> you know, um, so Aquarius, you, are, uh, you and Libras are like little superheroes. So you have the ability to do something, you're going to do it. You're a giver, naturally. You're the water bearer. But at this time, it's saying slow down on trying to save the day. So there may be something that you may need to do this week. And the universe is saying, eh, before you do that, wait. <laughs> See what happens. Because I feel like there's going to be a shifting energy probably midweek. Of course, there's usually always is something that shifts. But your mind is going to be going good, and you're going to like, oh, I, I can help this person. Pisces. There's Pisces slowing down. Pisces. Ooh, you just, you just going in, Pisces. You got the uh, high priestess. So not only are you slowing down, but it's going, taking the time to slow down and get in tune with your spirituality. You're going to do it anyways. This is a very strong card for you, uh, Pisces. Excuse me, I got a little gas. But the uh, High Priestess says there's a lot of hidden energy. There's a lot of spiritual energy. Slow down to listen to your intuition. What is the universe trying to tell you? Because this is all about the divine feminine. And before, uh, unlike the, like the magician card or something where you're projecting out and you're trying to manifest something, this is about being receptive and listening, listening to spirit. And what is spirit trying to tell you? This can manifest in so many different ways. But the most conscious way of doing it is, like I said, take some time to meditate, some heavy meditations, like maybe five to 10 minutes, 15, <laughs> listen to some good music and just take yourself there. All right. I'm going to pull a couple more Oracle cards and I will let you guys go. <laughs> All right. Let's pull an angel card, a moon card and the 40 servants. So what is the angel guiding us this week? An angel message for this week. Angel messages for this week. There is a gift from God. All right. We angels bring you gifts from the creator. Open your arms to receive. You can't receive something until you like be still, right? So whether you're doing whatever, however you're going to slow down, whether you are meditating or whether you're doing something more like there is a gift from the universe trying to come to you into your life right now. And you have to be open to receive it. So there's not something, I need to do something for this gift. I don't need to do anything. I just need to be present. Be present in the moment. Something good is about to happen. Just trust it and believe it. It's going to happen. So some of that may be monetary. Some of that may be someone, what we interpret as a gift can be different for each of us. Some of it's monetary. Sometimes it's somebody just being present with you, showing you how they truly feel about you. Um, Sometimes it's an epiphany. A gift from God can be an epiphany about something, a, a creative idea about something. These things usually don't happen until we rest our mind and stop trying to find a solution. Oracle message from the 47. The dead. 
some of you need to consult your ancestors. Uh, some of your ancestors are trying to tell you something with the dead car here. This also says something is wind winding up or winding down, excuse me. Something is uh, coming to an end or closure. Yeah, let's pull a moon card. Also, you're being protected by the ancestors. If you have a strong ancestor ritual thing, you're being protected, but you need to listen because they're trying to probably give you a message as well. Ancestors typically do. You're never alone in a situation. You have a cloud of ancestors always around you, guiding you through your DNA, through your consciousness. Okay. And check my video about the ancestor ritual. There we go. Get two cards. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. This is about moving toward your destiny, doing something different, do something different this week. And the Aquarius moon saying, show the world the real you. It's being authentic to your true self, no matter how weird that may be, and stepping out of your comfort zone. That is the message. So do something different, be your authentic self, be weird, If it, show people your weird side, because Aquarius is very kind of different and doesn't really care, but be authentic to yourself, okay, and move toward your destiny, but right now, like I said, it's a slow energy of where are you supposed to be in life, you know, if you don't have what you want, think about what needs to change, and I think that was kind of like last week's message too, but I, there's more of an energy of slowing down, rethinking things, Maybe going back on a decision, focusing seems to be like a main thing here, going a little deeper and revealing yourself or finding a way to reveal yourself in a way that's more authentic to who you are. You know, if you are the type of person who's been very quiet about your spirituality or not showing people that you have that ability, maybe you need to start doing that. Maybe you need to start showing people. So it's doing something different. What is it that you need to do differently? OK. All right. That is the message for you guys. Um, hope that helped. Please like this video. Um, leave me a comment on what you are slowing down with, uh, how you're going to be different this week. By writing it down, one, you are putting it out there in the universe. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are up to and make your reality happen. Because if you don't do it, then who will?